All right, how we doing, folks? Your boy, Marcus on Tuesday, five numbers after the name. A little tight Tuesday. We back. We took a little hiatus, man. I had videos all throughout my vacation. I left them all set up before I left. And I came back, and I was like, nah. I was like, I need some time off, you know? That vacation after vacation, when you get back to work and stuff, and you're like, ooh. I was like, that's changed. This changed. This changed. Oh, say word. I was like, okay. All right, a little bit different. All right, I got you. Uh, Monte Casino over here, Type Tuesday games that come down to limits of the wall to the wild over here. I really like this map, man. I like a lot of what's a DLC 3, man. Uh, so Xbox guys, you know, we'll wait for DLC 4 whenever it comes out right before Black Ops. Black Ops 4, no worries over there. Uh, no Black Ops 4 beta thoughts here. I think I made a video about it. I got a joke league that I enjoyed the beta and whatnot. Uh, I, I didn't get a chance to play it. I wasn't even in the country. I am excited for the Blackout beta. Not 100% sure, um, not 100% sure where, uh, uh, what system I want to play. I mean, I'm definitely playing on the Xbox. I have a pre-order and stuff on there. But maybe I'll hop on to the PS4, try it out over there for a little bit. Um, but Blackout looks tight, man. They released, like, a trailer about it yesterday. Um, it, it looks very involved. It looks, uh, yeah, there's, like, a lot of meat to those bones uh, in the Blackout side of things. So, we'll see. I'm optimistic about it. Um, but until you play it, I really don't have any any sort of sentiments or anything about it. I think they said that they're trying for the beta like an 80 player cap or something like that. Um, and I believe that could be like raised maybe to 100 in the future. Maybe they won't tap out at 80. But 80 seems pretty good. Uh, the map, they kind of showed us the map. Obviously, it's a little bit difficult. I've, I've heard like in Game Informer has like a lot of details coming out of it here. And I've kind of paid attention, but not like 100% paid attention to it. So I'm kind of like seeing like some of the tweets, but I haven't read the article kind of deal. Um, but I, I read that like you could go from one edge of the map to the other edge of the map in five minutes, like if you kind of go diagonally, which you could seem is short, but five real minutes is a pretty long time. Uh, so I guess that's kind of fair. But I, I, uh, I think that uh, the, um, I, I think what we'll notice in this is that it's going to be smaller, maybe more. I think more like on the Fortnite level of things. Than the battleground and the player unknown battlegrounds kind of things. I, I think that's kind of what it, what you're gonna see. Whereas you're gonna have a little more interaction, a little bit up close and personal, uh, more than uh, you know battlegrounds where you could literally sometimes in battlegrounds I won't see anybody until the final circle. I'll see like my first dude and I'll be like ah, and then I miss my shot. And I'm like no, I was like that's it, dang it. Um, and by the way, I, I <laughs> you'll notice I kind of stopped putting PUBG footage on the channel. I never got over the control scheme for that game on the Xbox. Like, I, man, that to me seems like such a fail. Like, what happened? Like, how did we, like, come up with that as our best, like, control options? Like, I, I just, I knew if I played it long enough, I'd get used to it. But it seems so broken and asinine from other first-person shooters. And I know it's a survival I know there's more stuff to it. It's just not like a first-person shooter. I mean, how it's third person. I mean, you can play it in first or third, but I play it in third. I know there's more to that, but man, and that's kind of what I'm looking forward to in Blackout, which is his first person. They already says no like other options or anything like that. Uh, so first person view, and I, I expect the snappiness and the quick controls and the, the accuracy that you have in multiplayer to carry over that, and that feeling in a battle royale mode is what really has me kind of hyped up for Blackout. You know, bring me this first person shooter standard of excellence uh that is call of duty and put that in a battle royale mode and let me figure out like whether i like that or not i think i will uh they have some of the old maps that we saw over there raid for example uh nuketown looks pretty beat up but it's still nuketown it's an island the rumor was that it was going to be an island they showed the map and indeed it is an island which would be pretty tight uh i think firing range is on there uh turbine is on there i'm not i'm I saw, like, the name of it, but I haven't, like, seen, like, an image yet of it or whatever. So I imagine it's Turbine from Black Ops 2, which I really enjoy. I was talking about my boy Captain the other day, and I was like, man, you know, they said they're going to bring back, like, fan-favorite maps and stuff like that. Who the hell was Turbine a fan-favorite for? Like, I guess snipers and stuff like that. I, I, I didn't mind Turbine. Like, when it came up, I'd be like, all right. But I never voted for Turbine. Like, that was not, like, a thing. I was never like, yo, yo, Turbine next, yo, Turbine next. Like, nah, man. Uh, fire range, yeah. The jungle, yeah. Turbine, nah, we good. I, I, I'm good without Turbine in my life. Uh, so I found it pretty funny. But I guess for a map like that, it's pretty cool. And then there's like zombie points too, where like there's a couple like zombie maps in there where there's gonna be like zombies. So that's like a pretty nifty twist, right? Where sometimes a circle will fall into place where there's like zombies in it. Like what? Like it's cool, man. It seems like they're having a lot of fun with the game. 
And when Treyarch has fun, it normally leads to good things. Uh, I was pretty surprised in the trailer the amount of vehicles that were like going on with it. Like, it was a lot of like vehicle combat and vehicle stuff. Um, I'm pretty impressed with that. I, I was a little bit nervous. When we got like a first kind of leaks of Blackout, I kind of said like the only thing we were going to have, like, I think from the get go um, would be uh, like car, or, like ATV. That's it. Like, everything else will still be a work in progress. And I was like, damn, I made like a video and I was like, that better not be the case. Like, if you're putting out Blackout, like, day one, that thing needs to be ready to roll. Like, it has to have everything in. You could add stuff later. That's fine, too. But you need to, like, deliver this day one and be like, hey, here's our Battle Royale mode. We'll tune it up however you want, but this is it. Not here's our Battle Royale mode. By the way, though, in, like, six weeks, we'll have helicopters. Like, that. that's not a thing. That's not no, I'm not going to do that. It, it almost feels, and I, I hate to break it on this because it, it clearly seemed to be a split, but in that sense, it would be a little World War II-ish, right, where I came back from Spain, all of a sudden we have, like, a different class. I came back from vacation, all of a sudden it's like, yo, commandos here. You could tax insert in, fly in. You're like, what the hell? Like, And, you know, I'll put some footage of that uh, probably, like, next week or something like that. Because, uh, honestly, I started playing with it yesterday for the first time. I was like, uh, all right, Commando. So let's give this a shot. I know Commando is a little bit different than, than the Commando that's listed here, but all right. Uh, so uh, I uh, – but you come back and you keep adding that on, and we kind of look at it. Now, there clearly was, like, a little bit of a split there when Condry and the guys, like, the, the head guys of Sledgehammer left. You notice that the game opened up a lot more. They kind of wanted to keep it really historical, really World War II kind of based, traditional. So there wasn't that much stuff added and like the game was slower and stuff like that. And I enjoyed that game. I was pretty cool with it. I'm also cool with the additions. So I'm cool with both. Uh, I don't really have a favorite. Honestly, I think if I were to pick, I'd probably say the additions. But I'd probably prefer the additions to be there from the get-go rather than kind of adding them on. Um, and, and that's something that, you know, uh, that's what I'm saying. Like, Black Eye has to be a full fleshed out mode when it releases. And then you could add stuff and you could do events because you're going to have to do it. And they've already kind of said that they're going to update things on a much more regular basis than just, you know, the old school Call of Duty model of like, hey, man, here's four DLC packs. That's it. Now it's going to be a little more of a steady stream of stuff. Um, I think they, uh, they've been kind of a little bit, not shady, but just haven't really spoken about necessarily what's coming into like Blackout. Uh, I imagine like extra characters would kind of be like an easy thing to do for Blackout and stuff like that. Um, there's apparently kind of like little missions you could do there to get stuff in Blackout as well. I imagine some cosmetic stuff, maybe some camos and stuff like that uh, would be some of the stuff that circles around at events and whatnot. But you see like Fortnite outside of just it being a good game, I guess. I, 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 don't, I don't really... I don't really get the Fortnite craze, so I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit out of it. I'm, I'm literally might be like the only person on YouTube like Twitch that just does, that isn't like Gaga Google over the game. Uh, it plays smooth, trust me. It, it runs and plays a lot smoother than PUBG does, at least on like console side. I can't speak for PC, uh, so it definitely has that going for it. Um, but I, I just the art style never really grasps me, and the um, and the building side really is. I, 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 I literally I played a couple times and I tried building. I couldn't figure it fully out. And I know if I try a little bit more and I pay attention and I watch some videos, I can figure it out. But I was like, I'm just not interested. Like I'm, I'm here to like play a first person shooter. I'm not here to like play like a Lego game. Like it's, it's like two different games. It's cool that it's together. Most respectful people that like it. Obviously, it's huge, so people love it. Um, but what Call of Duty needs to steal out of it is not the building aspect of that, but it's the constantly updating. You know, the events and stuff like that. I don't necessarily know about the season model because I don't fully understand like what the seasons are necessarily in Fortnite. I just don't play it enough to fully know. Don't get too angry at me about it. Um, so I don't think Call of Duty has to go in like that direction or anything like that. But you do have to do something where maybe on a weekly basis or every two weeks you add something in or you switch something up or you know maybe like this week everybody or maybe like maybe there should be like one week. Well, like all the circle, well, I was gonna say all the circles have a nuke town, but then just people just go camp in nuke town. Scratch that idea. Think of something better, and then do that like every week. All right? Bull Marcos over me, man. Type Tuesday, month of casino. I vibe with this map, yo. I feel this map, yo. Deuces.